هالو اي ام دكتور وفاء بدوي السينيور كونسلتنت هيستو باثولوجيست اند هيد اوف باثولوجي ديبارتمنت اي كي ام اي سي اتش كي اس اي اي ام جوينج تو توك اباوت جيرم سيل نيوبلازمز اوف ذا اوفري ذيس جيرمينوما Definition and general background. It is a malignant primitive germ cell tumor with no specific type of differentiation. It is the most common malignant germ cell tumor of the ovary in adults, accounting for approximately 50% of all primitive non-teratomatous germ cell tumors. and for 1% of all ovarian malignancies. These germinomas shares biologic similarities with testicular seminoma and extragonadal germinomas. Different types of gonadal dysgenesis are a risk factor for the development of this germinoma, including Fewer 46XY bilateral strigonads and androgen insensitivity syndrome, 46XY testicular feminization. These germinomas are associated with chromosome 12 abnormalities, particularly isochromosome of the short arm I. 12p. Most cases of this germinoma, approximately 80%, are diagnosed during early adulthood, median age 22 years. They rarely affect premenarchal and postmenopausal women. Patients usually present with a rapidly enlarging pelvic mass causing pain or pressure, or may be discovered incidentally. Elevated serum lactate dehydrogenase, LDH, is detected in most patients. A minority, approximately 3% is associated with elevated serum beta human chorionic gonadotropin, beta HCG, suggesting trophoblastic disease. These germinomas are highly radiosensitive and responsive to chemotherapy with excellent prognosis. Gross appearance. This germinoma usually presents as a large, medium 15 cm, bulky solid mass with a postulated outer aspect. Cut surface of ovarian this germinoma shows a soft, multinodular, lobulated, solid quality and turn to pink color, which are characteristic features. Areas of hemorrhage and necrosis can be seen. Please note that bilateral ovarian involvement occurs in up to 25% of cases, either as obvious masses, 10% to 15%, or visible tumor in one ovary. with microscopic tumor in the contralateral ovary, 5% to 10%. Microscopic and bilateral tumors usually occur in the setting of gonadal dysgenesis. Up to 15% of ovarian dysgerminomas contain other malignant germ cell elements. such as chorifarcinoma, yolk sac tumor, immature teratoma, and are categorized as malignant mixed germ cell tumors. 
microscopic features. This germinoma shows a monotonous population of large cells separated by indistinct thin fibrous septa containing numerous lymphocytes, T lymphocytes. Tumor cells are polygonal to round and have abundant clea, glycogen rich to xenophilic cytoplasm, and large central nuclei, sometimes with a squared off contour and prominent nucleoli. Notice the distinct cell borders identifiable at high power magnification. This germinoma may have a trabecular distribution, a cord-like distribution. The septal connective tissue is thick, fibrocollagenous, and contains prominent lymphocytic aggregates. This germinoma sometimes shows prominent epithelioid granulomatous inflammation, scattered multinucleated syncytiotrophoplastic cells in 2% to 3% of tumors, often around vessels or areas of hemorrhage. It may be accompanied by serum elevation of HCG and tissue immunary activity for this marker. It is important to distinguish this germinoma with syncytiotrophoblastic cells from this germinoma admixed with choriocarcinoma. Immunohistochemistry. This germinoma shows Membranous and cytoplasmic positivity for PLAP, placenta-like alkaline phosphatase. Membranous and cytoplasmic positivity for CD117, C-KIT. Diffuse and strong nuclear and cytoplasmic positivity for OCT34. Diffuse and strong nuclear positivity for SALL4. Cytoplasmic positivity for HCG, standing for beta HCG, is confined to syncytiotrophoblastic cells. This germinoma cells are negative for CD30, EMA, CEA, S100, protein, CD45, glibican 3, and alpha fetoprotein. Cytomorphology. This germinoma shows dispersed large cells with macronucleoli, voluminous cytoplasm, peripherally placed vacuoles with large blister-like quality, small round lymphocytes and lymphoglandular bodies. The mixture of tumor cells and lymphocytes is quite characteristic of the tumor. Tigroid meshwork-like background due to the smeared glycogen-rich cytoplasm of the cells. It is not entirely specific for this germinoma. It is also seen with clear cell carcinomas. A peculiar stripe pattern in the background. Poorly formed granulomas, clusters of elongated epithelioid histiocytic cells. A multinucleated giant cell. Differential diagnosis, embryonal carcinoma. It is extremely rare in the ovary and biologically aggressive, most present with hormonal manifestations, such as precocious puberty, 
abnormal vaginal bleeding. It features large tumor cells with large pileomorphic and hyperchromatic vesicular nuclei containing one or more prominent nucleoli. Cobius and amphophilic to xenophilic cytoplasm rather than clear. Glandular and papillary architecture at least focally. Positivity for CD30, CD240. Please note that OCT3, 4, and SALL4 are not helpful in this differential diagnosis as both tumors are strongly and diffusely positive. Non Hodgkin lymphoma, large cell type. It is more often bilateral and involves other organs. It shows diffuse sheets of cells, less uniformity of cytomorphology, lack of septa, immune reactivity for lymphoid markers such as CD45, negativity for OCT3-4, CD117, CKIT, and SALL4. Clear cell carcinoma. It shows a background of endometriosis, the more classic tubulocystic and papillary architecture, which are helpful clues for the diagnosis. Positivity for Napsin A, diffuse cytoplasmic expression, HNF1 beta, hepatocyte nuclear factor 1 beta, nuclear staining, PAX8 nuclear staining, typical negativity for SALL4. Therapy and prognosis. The initial treatment of unilateral dysgerminoma is unilateral salpingo or oophorectomy and biopsy of the contralateral ovary. If fertility of patient is not considered as an issue, hysterectomy and bilateral salpingo or oophorectomy followed by multi-agent chemotherapy, most commonly BEP, biliomycin, etobocide, and cisplatin. The survival rate of pure dysgerminoma is 95% and is highly dependent on stage. Five-year survival for patients with stage 1 tumor approaches 100%. Because the tumor is highly radiosensitive and responsive to chemotherapy, even higher stage tumors have five year survival rates exceeding 80%. Metastases of this germinoma occur more commonly in contralateral ovary, retroperitoneal nodes peritoneal cavity. It is associated with a decreased survival rate. Over 75% of recurrences occur in the first year after diagnosis. Monitoring for tumor recurrence includes imaging and serum markers such as LBH, PLAP, and beta HCG. These are the references. Thank you.